Namaste. How's it going? Ujjayi Pranayama. For me, it's the culmination of the practice. It's the gift. It's given freely. Yeah. It's a reward for the hard work, the many years of preparing the body. Yeah. Why so? Yeah. Ujjayi Pranayama happens when the inner system is so open, there's no way but for the breath yeah, to flow through those deep pockets. And you will be able to breathe through them. Yeah. There are techniques, there are like instructions in the Ujjayi Pranayama, but if the body is not open, if those inner pockets are not open, yeah, then we're just wasting our time, really. That's the hard truth. It's not about the sound. You can do the loudest sound, but the question is, are you feeling it internally? Yeah. In the Uchayi Pranayama, actually, the, the bandhas you know, change and then work in a way that one bandha is loose or more open than the others. Yeah, bandhas are like valves, yeah? they're like the top. Yeah, you can either loosen and tighten the valve so it can flow uh, more water or restrict more flow there. Same with the bandhas. Right? In the Ujjayi Pranayama, the Uddiyana Bandha opens up. It loosens a bit because we're lifting the apana up. Right. So the apana rises yeah, as the valve opens the Uddiyana Bandha. So just loosen the valve of it so you can lift the apana up. All right. And the Chalandara Bandha, all right, constricts a bit. It tightens a bit. So we can just allow, although you're breathing your normal capacity, you filter the flow, the inflow of the breath. Why? All right. You don't want to be overpowering those two energetic forces. Otherwise, the technique is useless. Because the Ujjayi Pranayama, you're blending the Agni, you know, which yeah, is contained in the Apanavayu, and the cool healing energy of the Prana, which is contained in this gaseous oxygen we inspire, and they have to blend in proper intensities. Too much apana or too much prana yeah, will dissolve yeah, the agni or the fire. Yeah. Too much fire will burn out the prana. Right. And then the sound is actually just a sound because of this tightening and opening of the valves. And then where do these forces meet? Here. That's why the chest hums. The sound is quiet externally, but it's deep yeah, and heard inside the brain. So it's not about who makes the loudest sound if you're doing a class. Yeah. It's quiet, it's intent, yeah. it's not competitive, and it's not loud. So, yeah, unless <laughs> these inner sensations happen willingly, openly, yeah, forcing the Ujjayi Pranayama is like planting in stone, it won't bear fruit. See you in the next one. Namaste.